everyone, Formula 2 is back. So what is Formula 2? It's the second tier of single-seater racing and the final step before Formula 1. It's the ultimate breeding ground for young racing talent, with over half the drivers belonging to an F1 academy. There's fire and desire, with 14 race weekends taking place on the toughest tracks around the world. Former champions at this level include these guys, and winning is a big deal. F2 is a one-make championship with 22 identical cars taking part in two races every event. Friday is the day for practice and qualifying, with the driver starting from pole awarded with two championship points. Saturday is the sprint race, where the grid is determined by reversing the top 10 finishers of qualifying. Then on Sunday morning it's the feature race, with the grid set by the results of Friday's qualifying session and everyone has to make at least one pit stop. And with only one mechanic allowed per wheel, the pressure is really on. Oh, and there are no tyre warming blankets, which means low grip on the pit exit and some exciting battles. Just like in Formula 1, in both races you can get an extra point for setting fastest lap, but only if you finish in the top 10. So, how many points can a driver score in a single weekend? Let's ask them. 43 points. 42. Uh, 52. Just 39? He can get 39 points. Is that right? Yes, that's right. 39. Well, it's a good job someone knows the answer. 28 races take place in 13 countries around the globe, beginning in Bahrain and taking a trip down under for the first time to Melbourne's Albert Park. I'm very excited to be racing in Australia this year. I've never raced a, a car at home in Australia, so to do that you know, in Formula 2 and for it to be a, a round of the championship is something I'm really looking forward to. There's a triple header in May and June as the championship visits the classic circuits of Imola, Monaco and Barcelona, before the season comes to a close in the November sunshine of Abu Dhabi. The cars are very cool, their turbocharged engines producing 620 brake horsepower, accelerating the car from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in under 3 seconds and shooting flames out the back. F2 is the perfect training ground, not only for drivers but also for technology. This year they're competing for the first time using 55% sustainable fuels as part of the sports drive towards net zero with the aim to reach 100% by 2027. As part of the F1 group we are trying to, to, to push for sustainability, we are trying to push for very advanced fuel uh, with Aramco. 11 teams make up the Formula 2 grid. Their budgets are strictly controlled, running at only a few percent of what F1 teams spend. Last year's champions, MP Motorsport, are driven by Dennis Hauger and Jan Deruvela. We get along well. It's good to have someone beside you that you know and obviously have the experience as well uh, with him. I think we can uh, yeah, do something good together this year. 2022 runners-up Carlin have a new partnership becoming Roding Carlin, following investment from the New Zealand car manufacturer. Their new era is spearheaded by Zay Maloney from Barbados and Enzo Fittipaldi, grandson of two-time F1 world champion Emerson. Uh, it's an honor and I'm just really happy with this opportunity. ART Grand Prix have the all-French duo of Théo Porcher and reigning F3 champion Victor Martins at the wheel. While high-tech Pulse 8 have another Frenchman in Isaac Hadjar racing alongside American Jack Crawford. Super eager to get the season started as a rookie in F2. It'll be tricky learning new tracks, new car, a lot of new things, but I'm really excited. Prima Racing will be powered by Frederick Vesti and the youngest driver on the grid, 17-year-old Oliver Behrman. In terms of my performance, I have pretty clear goals. I just want to keep improving, keep furthering myself and uh, look back and, and know that I've you know, maximized every, every opportunity and not made uh, silly mistakes. Dams are driven by Arthur Leclerc younger brother of Ferrari driver Charles and a Yumo Owasa from Japan. In Victor Virtuosi Racing have Jack Doohan and Amory Cordiel, while the Milan-based Trident team run with the popular Clement Novelak and Roman Stane. Campos Racing field India's Kush Miney and Switzerland's Ralph Boschon, while Richard Vashore leaves Trident to partner the returning Juan Manuel Correa in competing for Van Amersfoort Racing. 
the Dutch driver setting the fastest time of pre-season testing in Bahrain. And German outfit PHM Racing joined the grid this year in partnership with Cherus. Their debut season will see Roy Nissani and Brad Benavides going for glory. So joining the new PHM Racing, this team is very exciting. A new team coming from Germany, already known in the uh, Formula 3, Formula 4 categories and uh, now joining Harus together to create this new atmosphere, new colors on track, very exciting and very looking forward. So there you have it. The 2023 FIA Formula 2 season is all set and it begins in Bahrain on March 3rd.